Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bomb Bombi and you're very, very welcome. So it's the final, final, final What's Map with just three digits in the serial number. Tomorrow we go up to fourth and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. <laughs> it's also the very first What's Map since the Tidesgate scandal. I'm glad to have that behind me. Anybody coming back from the future is wondering what the hell I'm talking about. Yeah, you missed it. It has ebbed away. Now, today's map was requested by Ian. Uh, he's one of the Bomb Bomb Buddies. And actually, because there is no Friday this week, this is the Bomb Bomb Buddy voted in map as by voted in by the guys over on Patreon. That's what I'm trying to say, I feel. It's a hilly map. It's quite a nice one. It's quite an interesting one as well. And it's also, well, I'll tell you about that in a moment. Hang on. That's right, hanging on really is a good way of supporting the channel, get me seen by more people and help me grow a little bit more every single day. Thank you for your support. Today's map is Ospereng by Manic Zebra or Manic Zebra if you're from the other side of the pond and... It's my first map. That's right, told you to hang on. <laughs> Let's have a little look at that start square. It looks very usable, it looks very usable, except for it's not flat. It's actually quite slopey there, as you'll see from the asset review. There's your uh, terrain height, so you can also see it's quite slopey from that. There's not even a there's not a flat bit on the entire map. The resources are good and strong, good and strong indeed. Let's have a little look at the fishing, shall we? Because uh, some of you have Sunset Harbour, some of you want to use Sunset Harbour's fishing, and that's what it looks like. Okay, off to the workshop. Oh, what do we need? Well, no DLC required today. That's interesting and good, I guess, for those that don't have the DLC. Uh, Network Extensions 2, you can see, is listed, and the Unlimited Tree Mod, because there's a lot of trees. If we head over to the One Click Collection, though, there's a lot of stuff here. I have actually subscribed. I got logged out by my browser. But yeah, a lot of stuff to subscribe to. We'll be using the Montebello theme, the realistic 1.2 LUT. I did remember to... Uh, <laughs> to <laughs> to get rid of the tides mod and also to remove the railway re replacer mod otherwise we'd have the wrong railways as well finally getting on top of things again thank you brain <laughs> okay <laughs> down to ground level and it, while it's a hilly map it is not a stupid map which gives you nowhere to build uh, the highway networks feel quite natural I'm gonna say that they feel quite natural and quite good uh, good quality and uh, we'll see we've got some lame mathematics coming up as well with the intersections that are good as well uh, the backdrop as well if you have a look it just looks good it's just got a real good uh, aesthetic that's the thing actually the the Montebello theme it's an old theme an old theme and it's a good one it doesn't work with every map but those that it works with really brings it out the map and you look at the distance those those mountains just look proper strong i love them I, it's, it's just a it's it's one of the strong it's one of the um underrated themes i would say on the workshop this one underrated and probably underused a little bit these days as well with so many modern themes coming out that are are good and strong as well Ignore the junction on the left, we'll be having a look at the rail in a minute, but I do like the way that the, the rail goes over the roads here by maintaining its height, so that's quite a nice little touch. Now, bridges, uh, big old bridges, we do like a big old bridge on this channel, and uh, it's it's good, it's good, yeah. The pillars don't look like they're a problem, they're nicely, properly aligned as well, and the rail lines up quite nicely with it too, so credit there. Now doing a big old climb up a hill here, it's not the stupidest of climbs. And at the top here we have an intersection, a good, nice intersection. Um, I don't know if it's been hand drawn or plopped in, but it has certainly been hand tweaked. I'm not entirely sure about the elevated road underneath here. It doesn't really need to be elevated and it's cutting into the environment a little bit. So that could be tweaked down to ground level. But it's, it's all clean. I just love the lane mathematics here. The, the two and one, the two lanes going straight on. And the it's, it, it's just clean and crisp. And up here, we've got four lanes merging into four lanes. Again, very clean and crisp and good work as well. Do uh, I am liking, I do like good work. And I am liking the good work on today's map. Uh, gone down to three lanes now. So we can take this little bridge. Now, I'm not entirely keen on this bridge. 
Uh, the centre struts, uh, struts in the middle of the highest flowing bit of the water, um, and it just doesn't look like it's strong and stable. <laughs> so it's not supported by Theresa May, as they say. Uh, so what we've got here, I feel I have just uh, adjusting the positions of the pillars and uh, you could probably rebuild that uh, just as a standard um, viaduct style rather than a suspension bridge or you could do a suspension bridge with pillars on either side possibly but I, I would just go viaduct personally I think it'd be fine but certainly moving that pillar out of the river it just doesn't need to be there it, the, the river isn't that wide okay uh, next intersection this looks a little bit more untidy with the rail going over it but it's actually it is actually good it just looked a bit untidy coming on in and the detailing in here it's not a roundabout but it has got a round bit of detailing and good and clean and crisp as well and again nice lame mathematics bring us to another big old bridge and this is the big old bridge that goes over the big old bit of water this is the proper big old bridge and this is a suspension bridge done really very nicely indeed quite happy with that one i know that some people will say oh no it needs to touch the land yeah it probably does but Yes, the city skylines. We can suspend a bit of disbelief, can't we? Can we? I think we can. Uh, Start Square has a roundabout. The first time I saw this little fella was on one of Zosso's maps. Now that got five stars across the board. An all-star map. Well, is this one going to be an all-star map? Are we going to finish the 1000 with an all-star map? Well, it's not long to wait to find out. Now we do need an asset of the there's one over there. <laughs> An asset of the day this one here this is the w2 w135 degree building by i tortilla 01 now, i do believe i tortilla 01 made lots of buildings for so it cities xl or one of the uh, one of the alternates anyway i think they're now transferring their work across but see how the building is glitching into the land that's because the land is not flat and you're gonna have a lot of fun with sleep with sleep hills <laughs> yeah we're gonna stay with that we're going to play with sleep hills today uh, factoids because factoids one of the uh, greatest if you can call it greatest natural disasters of recent centuries occurred on this day in 1976 when an earthquake hit Tangshan in China killing three quarters of a million people and we don't even think about this today uh, three quarters of a million people just wiped out now no uh, xenophobia here please guys no xenophobia these are real live ones. Well, they were, anyway. Mm. That went somewhere I didn't really want it to go. Anyway, the W2W building, 135 degree building by I Tortilla today's asset of the day. Yeah, I, I dug myself into a into a passageway there that I didn't mean to. Now the uh, the roundabout there in the start square. Yeah, I did notice that the um, the lanes merging into it were a little bit. Um, or we'll say winky wonky yeah they just needed bending the other way but i'm not going to show you that one today we're not going to go that way uh we'll have a look at the rocks in a minute or we'll come and have a look at the rail first of all because the rail now the, while the highways i'm going to say the highways are really very good indeed the rail it's a hilly map and it's we'll go we'll go fantasy rail it's certainly within within the boundaries of the gameplay of city skylines your average game player is not going to care too much about this and so that's fine that's fine for the average however if you're all about the realism whatever you're probably going to want to rebuild because these are all gradients and they're not crazy gradients but there are gradients pretty much everywhere you look uh, um, it's just there are some subtle changes that could be made to just improve the map though let me show you one about here is this the place it is the place right so this bridge as you come off here there's a very slight downward ramp there not barely barely noticeable but also if you follow the rail along a little bit further you'll notice we start inclining we're going back up again so that entire stretch could have been just level and inclining just slightly from the off which would have just reduced the slope a lot and again here we're going over the brow of the hill only to go back down to get onto the bridge now this could be a cutting let me show you with the uh, the terrain lines up bam there we go so you can see how we go up we level out and we go back down again so all of that could be put through as a cutting again would have made it just to look a little bit more realistic is it a huge problem god no it's not no it's not no it's not now, uh, this junction we looked at earlier, uh, minor grumbles on this one, I guess. Uh, it's fine 
it's fine. It's actually quite nicely done for what it is. You can see a bit of blue mantle where it's been where it's been stressed. Let me show you there. Can you see it pops in there? Yeah, and these it's just been stressed. The game isn't really designed for this. We come in a lot closer, you can see it better. I don't mind the, the ramps too much given what we're seeing on the rest of the map, but we can live with this one. But there are there are minor changes that could be made, minor, minor updates. Like we've got a little bit of a bump going on there, so maybe that could be down at ground level, possibly. And then this is a little bit higher than it absolutely needs to be. Let me just uh, select the pillars, bonbon. Pillars, but hang, hang on a second. I'm, I'm s Why are you not? Let, let's do it from above. If in doubt, do it from above. There you go. Pillars selected. Right, now we're just going to drop down. We're just going to drop the entire track down a little bit. And there it is. I feel that's probably a more realistic height for what it has to cross. Um, yeah, about there. It's not touching the wires, and that just brings down all of the other ramps. And I quite like that. That's just, uh, yeah, somewhere around about there. Anyway, um, we've got all the tools now. Um, Move it allows you to deal with um, with uh, slopes, and plus you can tweak things about. And uh, we've got various other slopes moving tools as well, which will just make that look a lot more slick. But um, it's not the worst. It's definitely not the worst. There's, there is no um, 45 degree inclines on these, which we do see here and there. Again, again, coming down to ground there, and there we are going back up the hill. So that could have just been left level and then merged back in with the rail. So yeah, with, with the rail, merged back in at ground level. Of course it's with the rail. <laughs> I definitely need this break, you know. Definitely need it. Struggling so badly. Oh. Do you have trouble building on steep hills? Do your buildings continually glitch into or out of the ground? Then you need the Beginner's Guide to Building on Steep Hills by Bon Bon B. Click the information button now. And so back to Osparang by Manic Zebra Stroke Zebra and shipping routes. Now, if you're fans of shipping routes, uh, you'll quite like today's. Uh, it goes everywhere that you want it to, and where it merges, there are no right angles. It's just all tapered off very nicely indeed. It goes through the gaps on the bridges. This is a good shipping route. Now, some of you might go, don't really need that much. Well, then that's fine. That is fine. You don't need that much, then that's fine. But <laughs> it's th there's nothing to complain about here at all. I'm just uh, that loops either way of the of the island, and then this loops back around to where we started, which was up on this edge of the world over here. So there we go. Uh, shipping routes are good. You know what else is good? If you want strong water flow through past your start square, I don't think you're going to complain too much about this one. This is what you call strong water flow, and it pushes off to the right-hand side there, but I've just flown straight over it. There you go. Right, okay, the map as a whole. It looks okay. It's an interesting shape. It's usable. It's, um, it's hilly without being too hilly, for those of you that don't mind hills. There's that big old island there, big old island, I tell you. And then we got even little features like this. Okay, this spawn point, fantasy land. Fantasy land, that's fine, don't mind it. Don't mind the island up here as well. Um, but then there are little things I would grumble about that just distract from the uh, the belief. And that is like, this jetty is very high. Uh, you could be using that for fishing, I guess. It's a fishing jetty. But are the fish all gonna be washed down that stream? Also, because vanilla rocks, we got some heavy glitching very very heavy glitching now considering that we have got quite a few uh, custom rocks uh, gray flames rocks etc subscribed to on this today's map uh, there was no reason to use the vanilla ones at all which is what's caused the glitching there and over here they'll find some more um, of the same yeah we go over this side like this is the park life rock and that one has got the cave in it and the cave is below water level but the water doesn't get anywhere near the cave entrance because of um, Vanilla, 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 vanilla. Yeah, we go over the other side and we have some of the uh, the custom rocks and look at them. That just looks so much better, doesn't it? With <laughs> the water actually staying at water level. So anyways, what more have we got going on? Um, like we've got little areas like this. I'm like, this is a, as a water spawn point. Yes, I'm going fantasy world again, I guess. But I can, I'm very happy with that. That I can buy into. It's clean, it's crisp, it's tidy, it's interesting. As are 
as are the essential lighthouses because we've got one there and then if we uh, scoot around the coast somewhere you'll find one i probably missed one already i know i've just skipped over one but there's another one here and then if we go further up the coast uh, there'll be one over here as well. yeah they're lovely essential lighthouses are lovely and this is an overkill we've seen way more on smaller maps but um i do feel we've kind of earned more water glitching at least you've got a lighthouse warning you you're running out of water when you get close to the rocks <laughs> anyway uh and then we've got a couple over here so yes lots and lots and lots and lots of lighthouses i guess um there's a lot of shipping and it's quite narrow passages so i guess so oh ooh, it's a castle do you know what as castles go i will i will happily take this one it's not the most exciting thing in the world but it doesn't need to be this just is a nod in the right direction of there's a castle and or some sort of former settlement or something up here this is where the duke would have looked over his entire kingdom I want to see if we get a view from the entire kingdom. Look at that. What about that for a car view from your castle? Yep, I'm a, a fan of that. It'll do. You don't always have to do something magnificent and spectacular. Sometimes just a zigzag wall and a, and a vanilla prop and you're done. Uh, forests, yeah, good mix of forests. Lots of trees. Unlimited tree mod. Definitely recommended for this one. Uh, the forest work is very good indeed and definitely adds to the map and the colors of the trees really work with Montebello and the theme uh, well, the theme that is the theme and the lot as well it all comes together really well this river I could live without I know it's supposed to be some sort of like waterfally type rapids thing it doesn't really work for me this bit at the top top does though the water spawn points on today's map are really quite nice I mean again realistic no but fantasy world and nicely done. Yeah, very much. Very much. And over here as well. This reminds me of a chine on the Isle of Wight. Chine's Isle of Wight. It's like a it's like a, a fjord about water in it, I guess. Anyway, yes, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, it, it just reminds me of the, the little chines on the Isle of Wight. Oh, I remember Shanklin Chine. <sighs> Memories. Anyway, again, uh, is that a fishing pier? because it's don't think you're gonna get many fish in there i don't know certainly not a shipping one anyway what do you think of this map is it a one star map is it a five star map is it somewhere in between your vote really does count use it at the end of the month for the viewers choice top 10 will this be one of the top 10 maps of the month only you can decide click the i button in the top right corner of your screen now it'll take you to the voting page where you can vote on your on your opinion on the map and we'll use it at the end of the month i already said that <laughs> Okay then, aesthetically, this is strong. This is strong. I'm I can't give it five stars. Things like that, that river, just it's not a five-star river. Everything needs to be pretty much on point. But it's a strong map. It's a four-star map for aesthetics. Detailing on the whole is pretty good. Pretty damn good. There's not really that much wrong with it. Again, I don't feel I can give it the fifth star. We've got like the, um, the the rail I can't quite buy into completely and the start square roundabout link road connection things. Yeah, but it's still it's still four stars. Gameplay potential. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. I, I've i seen hilly maps that are more playable. I'm going to it is a playable map. I'm going to give it three stars for gameplay. It's uh, it's a playable map. I just don't feel it really entices me to want to really get into it. I think that start square just needs to be slightly flatter just to just to get you started and then work into those hills. Anyway, Ospereng by Manic Zebra. That is not bad for a first map. That is not bad at all. Taking on the hilly map as a first map, uh, many a lesser creator would have gone for the keep it simple, keep it flat, put some mountains on the horizon. <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. If you're still watching, you are part of the 20 and out elite. Use the words of the day in the description. No, in the description, in the comments. That's the place. I use the description. You use the comments. And come back tomorrow because I think you'll want to watch tomorrow's show. But allow yourself a bit more time because it's going to be a little bit longer than usual. Thanks for watching and I'll see you then. Bye now.